All right, folks. I got a new toy right off the truck from China. Well, probably came off the boat from China first. I have wanted one of these for a very long time. And they used to be really expensive because they were made by a company in America. And then they decided to uh, send their plans to China and have China build it and fire all their American workers. And they used to cost like thousands of dollars. And so then once the plans were in China, they got leaked to a bunch of other companies. And then they, you know, got some child prison labor out and they designed a cheaperly made version based off of their schematics and plans. And I paid $52 for this. Yeah, it's not as good, but it's not $4,000. And that company is, well, I don't think they're out of business that used to make the old ones. Um... Oh, I forget the name of them. Well, maybe they're not out of business, but I guarantee you they're not selling any of these things anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to open this and show you what it is. All right. Here she is. Now, you know, it's got to be high quality because they put it on the box. All right. Whenever they say high quality on the box, it's high quality. Because... You know, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't have bought the low quality version. You know, if this is the high quality version, it was $52. The low quality version was probably $51. Um, it's got a high quality heater. Yeah, yeah, it's better than the one with the low quality heater. And it's even got a disassembly diagram on the box. <laughs> All right. And, oh, it says it's a uh, high quality on the front, too. I don't want the low quality and it's ESD safe. Alright, let's open her up here. Um I don't know, see some of these had different brand names. This one had no brand name. That made it even better. Um Okay, this says he seems what's he huh? What I don't know what this says. Chow mein. <laughs> General chow chicken. Cream of some young guy. Cream of some young guy. <laughs> Neho. Ming Mong. Sweet and sour kitten. Cat in the kettle at the Peking moon. Yes, I would like some orange tabby, please. Okay. Maybe I'll take that up to the Chinese restaurant and have them read it to me. Yeah, the entire manual appears to be in Chinese, except for the part that says user guide. <laughs> the cover is in English, and the rest is in Chinese. So, um, let's get it out here and take a look-see. Well, everybody's like, oh, some of these, they, they wire them dangerously. They, they put the switch on the neutral side or the fuse or whatever. Oh, hang on. You shouldn't plug it in until you check it. I like living dangerous, so I'm just going to plug it in. That's the way I roll. Yeah, there we go. And it's going to hold it for me. This is the digitally controlled uh, temperature wand where it blows out the hot air. And then this is what you use to adjust your airflow and turn your temperature up and down. They had some like more deluxe versions that had all kinds of extras. It had a soldering station with it and it had like a frequency measure and a voltage meter and a miniature power supply and they were like ten more dollars. But I already have all that stuff so I just figured I'd get just a ten dollar cheaper one. This is an 858D. There's a bunch of different brands. This one has no brand. But it's high quality. So maybe that's the brand name. It's high quality. Oh, this is probably my... This is the different ends. They give you like three uh, different size ends that you can put on your blowgun. So you can give your board a big blowjob or a small blowjob. And this is some kind of a wrench... I don't know if it's for those. It's for doing something. 
It comes with this thing in the jig. Ain't to hold it, is it? I, I thought it would be for putting... Oh, I see. So, I think this goes onto these little grooves right here or something. Oh, okay. So, I guess you can change it. Uh, but, yeah, this allows me to not have to use this, which is, can be tricky at the butane torch. You get a little too close, a little too hot, you burn the board. This allows me to digitally set the temperature exactly to... If I know that, you know, it's using a certain alloy of solder, most likely... Um, I'll say it's 427 degrees. That's enough to melt the solder, but not melt the components in the board. So, I'm going to start playing with this bad boy. See what I can take apart with it. Alright folks, it's Tom, Frugal Prepper. I just thought I'd show this. I'm excited. I've wanted one of these for a long time, and now I can finally afford it. I have no idea what that little piece is. Okay. Hey, hole. Alright, I'll talk to you later, folks. Later. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa.